What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Randy Orton talking about Vince McMahon. It was time for him to move on. This is very interesting. I know that's my catchphrase, but it is hearing these remarks from Randy Orton himself. We all know Randy Orton was uh um well not even was is a future Hall of Famer of one, two, one of the, the greatest wrestlers the business has ever seen he's his work has always been consistently good and i'm sure he has made vince mcmahon a lot of money you know just he's made wwe a lot of money randy orton is one of those guys he definitely deserves to be on a lot of people's mount rushmore he's you can you can put randy orton as potentially top 10 of all time I, who who's gonna get mad at you so it's very interesting to see someone that obviously i'm sure he had a a decent relationship with vince mcmahon saying these things so i wanted to get some better context to what he had to say here appreciate all love support i'm gonna link the original video down below um and yeah let's get right into this one on monday night live where yeah. you know everyone's doesn't care if you he had kids. I came to him when Hold I was on. 35. Vince McMahon had us, you know, he had Raw on Monday Night Live where, yes. you know, everyone's he doesn't care if he, he had oh. kids. I came to him when I was 35 and my back really started going. And I, I, I pleaded with him like, man, I got to like not do as many shows, maybe do half the tour and, and, and be able to recover. And he just looked at me and was like, oh, I need you on those shows, Randy. Mother Nature gets us all. Damn. That's a that's a crazy thing to say like hey man can i take a little bit less time my back's kind of killing me i need, need to heal up hey i need you on them shows i need you you know it's part of the business mother nature comes for us all but it's like i'm the one out there in the ring too vince like you know that, that's that's a crazy thing and it and it kind of plays into the fact or it makes even more sense why he had to take some time off for his back. Uh, I remember a few years ago, they wrote him off with the bloodline story because he needed time to, to heal up. He's probably been dealing with back pain and issues for a very long time. And, you know, Randy doesn't give the vibes of, especially later in his career, the vibes of someone that's not going to do what he needs to do for the business. But if Randy Jordan's coming to you like, hey, I'm, I'm having some back pain, I... Can we at least lighten my schedule so I can get this fixed? Not because I don't want to work. It's just I'm, you know, I'm, I'm dying out here. My back's killing me. And it's like Vince, like ah, Mother Nature gets us all, man. You just gotta, you gotta thug it out. I'm like what? Damn, this is it's not even just no random person. This is Randy Orton that he's kind of, hey, you kind of gotta do this, bro. Like damn. What would you have done had wrestling been no more? I would have been involved in some way, shape, or form with the WWE. Okay. I think, uh, gosh, I might be wrong, but I might be the only guy that's only ever wrestled for one company his entire right. career. Yeah. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, so I don't see any reason why I got to leave. I, I see being a part of the WWE family from here on out, and if I wouldn't have been able to go back to wrestling... I would have, you know, been a coach, trained, done something, maybe, maybe, yeah, an on the road producer. Um, maybe her uh, help Herb Simmons promote SICW. Uh, that sounds like a ball. I would do that a lot. That I would do that. Like yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah. last question for you. Um, you're backstage. When you look at the current crop of WWE talent, who are the people, male and female, who stand out? To you that are going to have the career that a Randy Orton had um, has yeah I mean it's not over for you yeah I mean it's hard to, I don't have a crystal ball or anything but Austin Theory is is young and um, he's got a great look and he I know where his head's at I, I I have had plenty of talks with him and a lot of the things that you know I did as a kid that I maybe shouldn't have um, you know the distractions that I I was confronted with like he doesn't have those i think he's just a little more gung-ho motivated and he and that's, that's that's crazy coming from randy we all you know heard about his how you know how immature he was back in the day and now he's much more mature but the fact that he said that and a lot of people see it 
and hopefully this split between Austin Theory and and Grayson Waller, they're planting the seeds. Hopefully this can do something for him because they had something with him with the whole John Cena stuff last year and they kind of dropped the ball. I feel like they, he, he has something. They just got to find a way to really... I just don't think the heel stuff is working. I just... It's not working. Or at least he has to go a different route. But they... He's talented. He can definitely be something major for the company. They just got to find something that can really... Get the fans really invested in him. They have... he. It's not even just Randy that's saying that. It's a lot of other people in the business. A lot of people that just... You can see something there... They just got to find a way to really expound upon it. You no, know, he sees the goal. He sees the prize. He knows what he wants. And I think he'll definitely be a world champion one day. As far as someone becoming the youngest world heavyweight champion yeah. and taking that from me, I don't see that happening. Yeah, um, for a while. Only because I think it was a very special circumstance when I became the youngest world uh -huh. champion i was uh, 24 years old crazy. and um i don't know if if there's anyone young enough to to make it to that yet so i, I think i think i'm gonna hold that for a, quite some time if not from here enough family you know who's younger than you uh my sons or are you talking about my brother, my brother. The, the cameraman yeah uh he is younger than me but he's 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 older than 24 so he wouldn't oh so okay so that yeah hurt. you think he's you thought he was younger than 24? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I just met him for the, for the first time. <laughs> this is some good language. Yeah. <laughs> that, Aren't you? That's, that's why we're doing it. Um, the, the Triple H era, I know this was, this is the last question, I promise. The okay. Triple H era and the era before <laughs> this is totally different. Yeah. yeah. What is different for you that you like so very much? Um off the top of my head and like listen i i love vince he gave me so many opportunities and but i think it was kind of time for him to move on it, it's unfortunate that uh, it happened in the way that it happened um but it's nice having people in charge of me that uh understand how important it is for uh that you to be home for mm. birthdays and home Here for thanksgiving go. and yep. home for christmas vince mcmahon had us you know he had raw on monday night live where yes. you know everyone's doesn't care if he, he had oh. kids i came to him when i was 35 and my back really started going and I, I i pleaded with him like man i gotta like not do as many shows maybe do half the tour and, and and be able to recover and he just looked at me and was like oh i need you on those shows randy mother nature gets us all mm -hmm. and to hear that and go okay well i guess there's no other you know thing i can do other than just you know wear myself out down to the nub until you know i can't walk anymore for this man and all the opportunities he gave me it's nice having him out of there and it's nice having his son-in-law triple h running Damn. the game nick khan's great um, everybody with TKO that's... Hold on. Did y'all hear what he just said? He just gave me... Uh, it's nice having him out of there, and it's nice having... It's nice having Vince McMahon out of there. And once again, he said, I love the guy. I appreciate what he's done, but that's a fair point. Vince didn't give a damn. Like, And this is a top star. This is not a JAG. It's Randy Orton. He was in one of the top few. He was punt kicking everybody he punt kicked vince mcmahon like he, bro he was he was the top guy one of the top heels in the company and he's like hey man i, I need help i i kind of need us i need to heal and he didn't care he didn't he's like i need you and the thing is about with vince no matter how big you are if he feels like you don't have his back or his best interest where he really needs you no matter what you've done you'll start to see it in your booking you'll start to see it in your matches you'll start to see it in your feuds he'll start showing his displeasure and start punishing you so i don't know man it's, that's kind of crazy damn his son-in-law triple h running the game nick khan's great 
Um, everybody the TKO that's come in, stepped in, they seem to get it, and it's just it's it's a different era. Yeah. It's a different era. The RKO and TKO. You're right, exactly, TKO like you said. But um, I think the way that they care for talent nowadays and make sure that talent's good, and if they need a little bit of a break, we're only human. Yes. They get it right. most of the time. Thank you yeah. so much, Randy. What would you like to say? Final thing to Herb Simmons the promoter who's here right now and made sure this would be yours. Oh, Herb Simmons is uh, Cowboy Bob Boy. He's a great man to work for, and I really appreciate all the help he's given me. I've got a wrestling school that uh, oh, Ace. Uh, Herb runs, the Ace yeah. Wrestling Academy. And uh, I go down and uh, I help the guys out. So I'm having a great time. It's not like I'm just sitting home all the time doing That's nothing. Great. i got something to do. That's great, yeah. All right, Cowboy Bob Orton. Without the cast, Randy Orton, thank you so much. We'll see you at the matches. That was cool, man. That was dope. And it's just, it's just wild. That's wild, but I mean, it it makes sense. With Vince being gone, things, wrestlers are not treated as just numbers. They're treated, it seems as if, like human beings. Hey, I, I got this. I got to take care of. Physically, I'm spent. And when you take care of your talent, they take care of you. Because guess what? They're going to give you 200%. Even if they're not 100% themselves, if you're able to help them out when they need it, they're going to take care of you. They're going to give you everything they have to make the best match possible, to make the segments work. They're going to do whatever it takes. And you can tell Randy just proved that now. Even if you just seen how things have happened on screen, but Randy is proving that now. Like it's it's different backstage. And that's awesome to see. It is. It is. And this is coming from a guy that said it himself. I love Vince. But it's better that he's not there. It was time for him to move on. Because things are moving differently and it feels like we're treated as human beings rather than just a number so comment down below let me know your thoughts and opinions on what randy orton had to say about vince mcmahon appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still in speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace